Today, I'm searching for the local blue goby. Don't go anywhere. What's up YouTube and all my fish keeping friends? How's it going out there in fish tank land? This is Joseph Harden from JH Aquatics and I'm here to share with you all my fish keeping adventures, knowledge, and more. Today I'm taking you guys along with me looking for the local wild blue goby. Let's just go ahead and uh, check out this pool real quick together and see what's in it and I'm gonna make my way a little farther up this gut. Taking a look at this pool right now and I see lots of snails. There are thousands and thousands of snails in this pool because the water is drying up and it's concentrating here um, but they do not have the same stripes as the local snails that I've caught from and collected from other parts of the island so I definitely would like to get a culture of these snails and keep them you know in one tank separate from the other snails and observe them uh, in captivity um, but there's definitely some baby mountain mullets in here. They're no more than about an inch and a half. Uh, I haven't really seen any big mountain mullets in here, but there's definitely a school of mountain mullets. They're kind of running from me. They're right here. Uh, they're pretty fast, but they stay together. I really don't want to bother these guys right now and uh, pull them out of the water. There's so much more to see. I'm going to make my way farther up this gut, see what else we can look at, because I'm really looking for this blue goby. Uh, I really hope that I can find one today. So let's go. I am really excited to see this much water flowing through this gut. Uh, it is crystal clear, it's full of snails. We have the mountain mullets so far that I found in this gut. Um, but we really gotta find this uh, blue goby. So I definitely have a lot more gut to go here. I can go way up into the hills here. I'm gonna try to stop before the National Park border so that I don't break any, any laws. I'm so in love with this spot. Uh, just the sound of the water, the breeze is a little strong. You might be hearing that as well, but it is really, really lovely out here. Great way to spend a Sunday, that's for sure. Even if I don't find any blue gobies, but uh, we're gonna keep trekking up here and uh, see what we find. Maybe we'll get lucky. One thing that is definitely present is an overabundance of biomatter. Uh, there's a lot of plants and trees that were destroyed in the hurricanes and most of it made its way into these guts and is now breaking down. But it's pretty awesome to see how much biomatter is just all over the place, but the water is still crystal clear and pristine. Um, you can see here the, uh, the mullets in here having a good time. They are loving this spot. And then just the amount of biomatter just blows my mind. I'm really just going on hearsay about this blue goby. Uh, I had a friend of mine that claims that he found a blue goby in this gut, in this waterway. So that's the only reason why I'm looking for the blue goby. According to the university here, there is no blue goby on this island, just the banana goby. So we'll see if I even get lucky with this, but I'm not giving up too easy. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and set up a GoPro here and put it in the water and then we'll hike up a little bit farther and let it record while I'm looking for other stuff. I'm definitely noticing that the gobies prefer this cleaner, more pristine water. Uh, these pools that I'm at right now don't have as much of that biomatter at all. So it's uh, much cleaner, much more pristine, and it seems that that's what they are preferring for sure because I've counted a handful of them so far, but they're all brown. But I'm gonna go ahead and put this GoPro in. And we'll go hike a little farther up. I just caught a glimpse of a really large goby. It was about six inches long, and it was a goby to the bottom of this pool, which is full of uh, mountain mullets. There's definitely some really large gobies in here in this water. Um, I can see them. There's a couple of them, and they're hiding out within these sticks, trying to pretend like they're a stick. Um, I just want to get close enough with this GoPro so that you can get a shot without them taking off under a rock.
There's a crayfish in here that does not like my GoPro. I'm sure you can see it right now, but he's like in defense mode towards my GoPro right now and wants to know what it is and why it's in his pool of water. One thing about these large crayfish is they're really territorial about their pools that they live in. There's usually only one large crayfish per pool. Um, they pretty much defend it and they will kill any other crayfish. So I got the GoPro looking straight at a large banana goby. You should be able to see that in the shot right now. Uh, pretty awesome. I've never seen them this big. I look forward to trying to catch a couple of these, but they are really fast. Well, I'm totally not satisfied. I got to see more. Um, I got this huge tree in the middle of the gut that I have to get through, but um, it's not a problem. I'm going to climb right over it, but I just have to see a little bit more, see what else we can find. I just found a really awesome pool of water. It's huge. And somehow I managed to accidentally kind of fall in. But what got me so excited to fall in or get just slide right in on accident was there's a, a blue crab, freshwater blue crab, and I definitely see a bunch of gobies in here as well. Now that my feet are in the water, I'm gonna go ahead and take my wallet out of my pocket and I think I'm just gonna get all the way in. I'm over it. So much for staying dry. <laughs> I'm wet now. Guess I have to put a couple of towels down in the car when I drive home. <laughs> it actually feels really good. It's super hot out here. And I tell you what, nothing feels better than sitting down in some nice, cool, fresh water. There's definitely some biomatter in here. That's a little wild but there's not a lot of it. I'm gonna go home and take a shower. I'm not gonna put my fingers in my mouth. I think it'll be okay. But um, it's really beautiful. And now that I'm just in the water, I'm gonna try to sneak up on a couple of things here. I'm gonna try to sneak up on some of these gobies with the GoPro. And I'm also gonna try to get a hold of that, um, that blue crab that I saw. I don't know where it went. After I fell in, I think I scared him away. But um, I'm gonna go check some stuff out here. Ah, there's the crab over there. GoPro's rolling. I'm sure you can see that with the GoPro uh, that I have the uh, blue clawed crab right in front of me. He's definitely checking me out and holding his ground. That should be a good shot for you guys. He looks pretty cool. He's about a medium sized uh, crab for us here. We call them our land crabs, our blue clawed land crabs. Uh, they are fresh water, they can handle brackish water, and they can handle some salinity. Uh, the locals sometimes will eat them if you uh, purge them with cornmeal and things like that to get all the, the funky stuff out of their stomach. Um, the locals do eat them here. It looks like that blue clawed crab is uh, making his way on. Uh, but I'm going to look around and see if we can see some more guppies. Looks like the sun's starting to come out a little bit, which helps give me some visibility into the water. We'll look around a little bit more, but I'm going to have to call it a day eventually here. I have to make it home and do a live stream for you guys at 2 o'clock. This is my Sunday fun day, and I'd rather do this than go to the beach right now, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and take you guys a little farther up here, up this gut. There's some really beautiful spots and I mean I know I could save it for another time but I just want to catch it. I got about another 20 minutes before I should be in the car to get home and do my live stream for you guys. Uh, wish I had cell phone reception out here. Maybe I'd do a live stream from out here. But um, I'm in about six, not even, yeah maybe six feet of water. I've mucked it up now so I can't really see the bottom. But this is my only camera. I look forward to not losing being it. Oh shit. <laughs> yes, I look I look forward to not losing this camera, so this is the only camera I have. But um you only live once. So I'm making my way up through here. This is beautiful. Let me turn the camera around. Beautiful little stream. Really nice music to my ears that's for sure all right 
I'm having fun. These beautiful rock faces just shoot straight up. Beautiful stuff. All right, guys. Try not to make this a whole bunch of shaky footage here for you, but I gotta hold the camera. There's no place to sit it. I'm popping, jumping from rock to rock here. And I'm uh, made it to this other pool of water. I'm gonna turn the camera around. This is, this is beautiful. Check that out. Beautiful pool of water. Look at that waterfall. Look at that waterfall. I'm gonna walk right through this. I'm gonna walk right through this. I know, oops, I know you don't need to see my face. This is much better. I'm gonna keep the camera. She's facing in front of me. It looks really dark in front of me. I don't know how, I don't know how deep it is. And I love my camera, so I think I'm gonna take a left. I mean, I'm gonna take a right here and go to the side of it and go up it. Look at that. Isn't that cool? This has been shaped over hundreds of years. Just carved out of the rock. That is beautiful. How many times have I said beautiful? Yeah. Look at that. There's even a mountain mullet hanging out right there in that, in that little pool. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna walk up this waterfall. Trying not to slip on this uh, biofilm and algae. I left the backpack behind. I got my Grove Pro in the pocket. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a Garden of Eden. Just walk up over this. I have to be honest, I feel kind of foolish that I've never been here before. And I've lived on this island for 19 years. Wow. This is beautiful. I know where I'm coming to play for now on. So glad I got wet earlier. I probably wouldn't be doing this right now. Wow. Wow, look at that little pool. Look at those multiple little waterfalls coming down. This is gonna make this video long. I hope you guys enjoy it. I don't know how much of this part I'm gonna edit. Cause this is just fun for me. These little baby waterfalls, but it's, it's cool. I love this grass. I'd love to see if this would make it in an aquarium. It's, I only find it growing in the permanently wet spots. It's really cool. Bright, bright green. And just the water just running down right along these trees. So it looks like this is a spot where two guts come together. You have the one coming down behind me and you have another one over here coming down that way and they, they merge right here and go down. Looks like I got my work cut out for me. Definitely gonna have to come back here again. That is for sure. Got a lot of stuff to do here. And I gotta get a lot more creative on uh, catching those uh, gobies, that's for sure. Getting a little exhausted. Got about 15 minutes to get myself home and uh, get myself in front of the camera for you guys. So um, I'm gonna make my way back down this uh, this gut to my uh, is to my bag, which hopefully is more than likely is still there, unless the deer ran off with it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to this content, you like this stuff and you want to see more of it, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit the bell icon as well and click on it for all notifications. Um, and remember, it really helps out a lot to share this content so other people can see it as well. I appreciate that so much. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching my content. It means the world to me. And uh, remember guys, keep your tanks clean, your fish fed, and have fun.